क्वेश्चन नंबर 1.15 व्हाट इज द नेट फ्लक्स ऑफ द यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 1.14 मींस वी हैव टू यूज द डेटा ऑफ द अबव क्वेश्चन थ्रू अ क्यूब ऑफ साइड 20 सेंटीमीटर ओरिएंटेड सो दैट इट फेसेस आर पैरेलल टू द कोऑर्डिनेट प्लेन्स मींस दैट स्क्वायर इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू अ क्यूब हुज साइड लेंथ इज 20 सेंटीमीटर सो हियर वी हैव अ क्यूब हुज वन साइड इज 20 सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग बट इट इज प्लेस्ड इन यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड राइट so this calculation that i have done is only for uniform electric field for non uniform we have to use a little bit different calculation now here i have labeled some surfaces so the surface right uh, this surface the above surface the uppermost surface i have labeled as one it's your choice you can label as you wish the next surface that i have labeled this surface number 2 then this bottom surface is surface number 3 then the surface this is the first surface which is touching the surface that i have labeled as surface number 4 the surface which is towards our side this one it is 5 and the surface towards the other side is 6 now what is the expression for the electric flux it is ea cos theta so just compare the equation with the side so for the first side this one the uppermost side for the first side this uppermost side right is uh, the area vector is upward here you can see the area vector is pointing upward and electric field is in this direction the so angle is 90 so e a cos 90 it is zero for the second surface the second surface is uh, labeled as this one this is the second surface right for the second surface the electric field and the area vector are pointing in the same direction so it is e a cos 0 cos 0 is one so it is e a third surface which is the uh, surface at the bottom so at the bottom you can see here right this surface which is at the bottom right its area vector is pointing downward right which is labeled here this is the area vector which is pointing downward here right and the electric field is in this direction so it is again 90 so ea cos 90 right again cos 90 0 then the fourth surface this one which touches the electric field first so for that surface the area vector right let me label couple this one right this surface so for that surface the area vector is going like this and the electric field is entering so it is ea cos 180 because the electric field is entering the surface like this and the area vector is outward so angle is 180 so it is ea cos 180 so cos 180 is minus 1 so it is minus ea surface number 5 the surface number 5 is the surface which we are facing right so that for that surface number 5 the area vector is outward and the electric field is in this direction so again the angle is 90 and similar for the surface number 6 which is on the other side so if you add all this flux the net flux you will get is zero so a little bit hint i am giving giving you whenever there is any surface of any shape but there is there should be a 3d surface like a sphere or like a cube 3d surface any shape or size but the surface should should be 3d if it is placed in uniform field keep in mind if it is placed in uniform field then the net flux is always zero